Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick, and in today's video, I'm talking about Atom 2.0. Now, we don't know all the details yet, but the Cosmos Hub and its Atom token are getting a major overhaul in the near future. In today's video, I'll go through what we know so far and why the Cosmos ecosystem may be the place to be right now. And before I go any further, I want to remind you that nothing I say in this video is financial advice or an endorsement of any particular investment. First, a bit of background on what exactly Cosmos and the Cosmos Hub are, because they are slightly different. Cosmos brands itself as the internet of blockchains, and basically it's an interoperability protocol that allows different blockchains to seamlessly communicate and transfer information with each other over something called the IBC. Cosmos also has their Cosmos SDK that allows developers to easily spin up a blockchain, and that's used by some networks that aren't actually connected to the IBC, like Binance Smart Chain and ThorChain. And so if you look at the IBC itself, though, there are currently 46 chains on it. This is a nice visualization of the transfers between those chains. And the reason for the IBC and the reason why this is so powerful is that as we've seen over the past two years, different applications are best suited to different blockchains. And the reason for that is that every blockchain has trade-offs. Some blockchains are more secure, but slower and have more expensive transactions. Some blockchains are less secure, but are rapid and might even have free transactions. Some applications are best suited to having their own chain so they can devote all the processing power of the network to that application. Some applications are suited to being on a general purpose chain. And the problem with that is that when you have all these applications on different chains, the ecosystem becomes very fragmented and communicating between those chains has a lot of issues with security and with speed and time. And so basically IBC simplifies that process, allows you to securely and seamlessly transfer value between these chains. And 46 chains have already signed on and more are coming soon. And so one example of the chains that's coming soon is something known as DYDX, which is currently one of the largest applications on an Ethereum layer two, and they're building their own Cosmos chain. So you have 46 chains already and you have big things coming to Cosmos. And if you just look at this site here, you can see that over the past 30 days, this site says there have been 950,000 transactions. This other site map of zones that also tracks IBC transfers says there have been 2.6 million. I don't know which is correct, but the important thing is to know that it's a lot and to look at the growth of it over time. And so the, part of the reason why I think that Cosmos is the place to be is that you have chains like DYDX coming in and you need to understand something called Metcalf's law. Basically what Metcalf's law says is that as the number of nodes in a network grows, the value of that network increases exponentially. Specifically, it increases with the formula n times n minus 1 divided by 2. And to give you a visual on that, like I have on the screen right now, if you have two telephones, that's one connection. If you have five telephones, that's 10 possible connections because every person can call every other person. If you get up to 12 telephones, that is 66 connections. So you can see how it increases exponentially with every additional node in the network. And in terms of Cosmos, if you have 46 nodes, as Cosmos currently does, 46 networks, that's 1,035 connections, although not every network is connected to every other network. If Cosmos were to scale to 1,000 networks, as many people are predicting, then you would have 500,000 possible connections between all of these different networks. And that is just an insane amount of value. So basically, you are 500xing the number of possible connections, which would probably more than 500x the value of the network. And so that's Cosmos. We have not talked about Cosmos Hub yet. What exactly is Cosmos Hub? Basically, Cosmos Hub is one of these chains. It was the first blockchain on the Cosmos network, and it's intended to facilitate the growth of the Cosmos ecosystem. And the native token of the Cosmos Hub is Atom. And so Atom has been criticized in the past because it doesn't accrue as much value from the growth of this entire Cosmos network as many people wish that it would. The main way that it accrues value right now 
is that it's often the people's way of onboarding to network. So they have to send Adam to the Cosmos hub. And additionally, a lot of these networks airdrop Adam stakers when they first launch. But that is all changing soon with the launch of Adam 2.0. So the first thing that's coming, and this has been in the works for a while, is something known as interchain security. One of the problems with Cosmos's vision right now is that while this allows networks to customize their own, one of the problems with Cosmos right now is that while this allows applications to customize their own network, running a blockchain is actually quite expensive and quite a difficult process because you have to find people to run different validators so that it will be decentralized. You have to make sure they're all technically competent enough to run their validators consistently and to give them all the proper updates. And it's generally a lot of maintenance. And moreover, you need to make sure that the value of your token is high enough to keep the network secure, assuming it's secured through proof of stake, because otherwise that's a security risk. Interchain security aims to solve that by allowing networks that are approved to rent security from the Cosmos hub by paying some of their fees and tokens to validators and atom stakers. So basically you can think of this almost as a continuous airdrop that these networks will be sending to atom stakers. And this is already in development now. So release and testing started in August, 2022. Testing and audits is going on now. Audits and bug fixes are happening in October. Then we have the incentivized test net in November and then a governance proposal in December. And I don't anticipate any problems with the governance proposal because this has been talked about for a very long time in the Atom and Cosmos community. And then right now, the intended launch date is in January 2023, where they'll be onboarding consumer chains. That's what they're calling these chains that will rent interchain security. So definitely keep an eye on this timeline to make sure that the team is hitting it if you are interested in Cosmos, but the team has been delivering so far. And I think that a lot of us who are interested in Cosmos are very excited for this to roll out because this is such a clear value proposition that the Cosmos hub will have that will allow it to benefit from this insane network growth, right? This Metcalf's law, the Cosmos network is exploding. We want to make sure that the Cosmos hub is somehow benefiting from that explosion in the number of chains on the IBC. But that's not the only thing we know about Atom 2.0 so far. The details after this become a little shaky because it hasn't all been announced yet. The plan, as far as I know, is to announce at the start of the Cosmoverse convention next week, which begins on 926. So that's when we'll have more details on Atom 2.0. However, in various interviews and announcements, the team has given us some hints about what we can expect with Atom 2.0. The first thing is a revamped tokenomics for Atom. Right now, Atom is infinitely inflationary and the staking rewards are listed as approximately 9.7% on the Cosmos network. But in reality right now, they're closer to 15 to 19%, depending on what validator you're with. And while those rewards are nice, those come heavily from inflation and they increase to incentivize more people to stake when the staking ratio as a proportion of all of Atom gets low. And so we are expecting a revamp to those tokenomics. And one of the team members said that this will blow EIP 1559, which was that huge upgrade to Ethereum last year that makes Ethereum partially deflationary out of the water. So looking forward to some very cool things there. And then the other thing the team has hinted with Atom 2.0 is that it's going to bring the value proposition for Atom more in line with all of Cosmos. It's going to, the team said, provide a better way for Adam to accrue value from new chains that are launching in Cosmos than the current airdrop method. And so I don't know if they're referring to interchain security. Uh, however, given that that is already announced and being worked on, I'm hopeful and I'm expecting that they will announce something else besides that to add even more value to Adam. This is, of course, speculation. So we'll have to wait till next week to see. That's all I got today about Adam 2.0. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.